Poco is one of the best grow mediums out there, but it's also the most misunderstood. Today, we're breaking down why it causes cow mag issues and how to fix it. But first, check this out. Let's give some growers love to the sponsor for today's show, Canna Coco. If you're a fan of the show, you already know, Scotty and I love to grow in cocoa. It offers a perfect air to water ratio, making it hard to overwater and has a great nutrient holding capacity. But you gotta be careful, guys. You want to get high quality cocoa. You want to get some good buffered cocoa to make sure you don't get stuck with any calcium or magnesium deficiencies. You've shopped around and found the best. Trust me, that's Anna Boko. Scotty and I both use it in the grow, and that's why we're proud to have him as a sponsor of the show. So if you want to make growing as easy as possible like I do, start with a great cocoa for your media and head on over to cannagardening.com. That's cannagardening.com. All right, let's get back to today's video. All right. Well, before we get to the issues, let's 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 hit on why cocoa works so well for growing. Why do you have a shirt? What do you have a shirt that says like I love the cocoa? It should be. I'm in love with that. the cocoa. I'm in love with the cocoa. I think it means something different. I named my dog Coco after the media. Okay, but it just works, man. Coco when it's saturated. That's why I use it for the real buckets. When it's completely saturated, or when it's saturated, I should say, it still holds air. So it's it's a lot different than peat, which when it gets totally saturated, everything goes anaerobic in it. It can't hold that uh, uh, that amount of air. Oh, you said peat. Yeah, peat also doesn't. It likes to compact a little bit. Well, cocoa kind of resists compaction, if you will. And you talk about ability to hold water, like that ratio. An interesting fun fact: it holds like up to nine times their own weight in water. Just all these little micro sponges in there. So it's hard to overwater. Don't get me wrong; you can overwater anything, um, but that's what makes it just a great media. But ah, the, the cation exchange, so just real quick, the nutrients, the cation exchange capacity, the way it's able to hold on to nutrients is really valuable too. And we'll get into that. That's probably why some of these cow mag issues are starting. Yeah, exactly. Well, it holds nutrients so well. So let's take it to cow mag. And cow mag, I don't know, why do we... Co- Technically, <laughs> calcium, magnesium, right? We, did, I think, is it only the uh, cannabis industry that growers forever just started to call it Calmeg and put it both together in the same bottle because they can be not a lot of things can be together in the same bottle like that without sure. antagonism. You know what? Calcium and magnesium are both double positives. Okay, so they're really strong. The soils are negative. So the calcium and magnesium both have a very strong magnetic charge, whatever you want to call it, to the soil. So if you have all calcium, well, it blocks out the magnesium. If you have all magnesium, it blocks out the calcium because it got the same charge. So by putting them in the perfect ratio, they're absorbed in your soil at that perfect ratio. That's why they put them together. Yeah, I mean, in a CalMag issue, and it, a few reasons for cocoa, um, you have uh, not a quality cocoa basically it's not been buffered if it has not been buffered your cow making not going to be available to the plant right it's only going to still lock onto the cocoa what happened buffered at co- uh, coconuts are mostly grown around coastal areas there's a lot of sodium salt in, in the you know salt water cosium coconuts pull up a ton of potassium out of the soil out of the water uh, so you've got that coconuts that's loaded with sodium and potassium which are just single positive charges. So the idea is first off, just to wash that extra stuff. Oh, you just to wash the extra salts off that are going to wash off. And then the last little bit that is bonded to that, to that cocoa core that is bonded to those cation sites. We're going to exchange that with calcium and magnesium. So it's going to release the uh, potassium. It's going to release the sodium because those are single positive charges. And the calcium and magnesium are double positive. So it's going to displace the sodium and potassium. And that's what we want. I like it. How are we going to fix this? How are we going to fix this? Uh, we just covered, use good cocoa, man. Use cocoa that's buffered. Use cocoa that's washed. Freshwater uh, cocoa, freshwater rinse, if you will. Um, and on. also learning some. Yeah. So I, I got it. I got to jump in because I have firsthand experience. Last week, I was resetting my room or resetting my veg. Had I use can of cocoa. It is definitely, the, in my opinion, the best cocoa that I can find. I get those little bricks and I hydrate them and I'm good to go. I had these bricks. I'm obsessed with 
I was always obsessed with thinking that cheap cocoa was going to be good. I have blown so much money on cheap cocoa and it just sits there. I've actually started throwing it away. But for an experiment, we do content. I just took a brick of cheap cocoa, hydrated it and started washing it. Took my parts per million pen or my TDS pen, 1800 parts per million. Well, it was eight. The runoff was eighteen hundred. That was probably mostly sodium. That is scary, man. That won't work. That dog won't hunt. How did <laughs> sound good? You did great. <laughs> also, I'd say some of those cocos are also steamed, um, sterilize them as to be a growing medium. Where uh, unsteamed, like a uh, can of cocoa has, it comes with trichoderma. You don't want to sterilize grow medium because that's just uh, yeah. Shout out. That's just an area where you're going to have, um, what do we say? You have plenty of vacancy for problems. Yes. Like tithium or mold or some rot. Nature so, fills a vacuum. So if you put an aggressive trichoderma in there, it's going to outcompete most other things, most other pathogens that are just trying to get a foothold. That's the idea behind it is load it up with something good so the no vacancy sign is out for you know, pathogens or something bad. I mean, there are other ways to avoid the CalMeg issue is nutrients, right? I know, you know, it's pretty well known. You don't want to grow organically in a full-blown cocoa mix. And there are like cocoa-specific nutrients, right? Yeah. Oh, definitely, man. Canna has kind of cocoa A and B. They all have cocoa lines. I think it's really just CalMeg. I think they're adding more CalMeg to it, uh, in my opinion. We have shirts that say more CalMeg. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Yeah, I, th- I think that's all it is, is cocoa has uh, slightly, you know, different CalMeg, you know, holding capacity or CEC. Uh, so, yeah, I think they're just adding, put it this way, when I use the grow dots in cocoa, there's some strains I will need to add a little bit more CalMeg, but that yeah. probably has to do with cocoa. Yeah. All right. I'll leave a, I got a pro tip quickly. Don't forget, no matter what you're doing, CalMeg issues or any issues, sometimes we forget, which is a whole other subject, but look into foliar feeding your plant too. It's another way to to battle some issues with almost uh, results in a light cycle, if you will. Hope you guys are enjoying your cocoa. If you're growing in cocoa, it's our favorite <laughs> growing medium. It's like tur- turbo hydro and you can add microbes to it and just r- go to the races. So, Cocoa is hydro, bro. Cocoa is hydro. You're starting with true. your sterile media, right? Give us some tips below with some tips growing in cocoa, how to avoid calmeg issues or calcium or slash magnesium individually. Give us the comment below. And come on, if you dug this video, let us know by hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. Share this one with another grower you know. And check out the other couple of videos YouTube's recommend us.